about this young girl who is vivacious and funny and has a job that she doesn't like and has a little problem about spending a little bit too much money and has all this credit card debt. And yet she gets a, a job in a financial magazine who writes about people who overcome their financial problems and how to deal with their financial problems, but she doesn't take any of that to heart. And it's how she figures out how to deal with her own problems, gets a job that she loves and falls in love uh, at the same time. I play a character called uh, Luke Brandon in the movie. He is the, the editor of a financial magazine um, and I end up almost inadvertently employing Becky Bloomwood uh, as a columnist on, uh, in my magazine. My name is Rebecca Bloomwood. I've been a journalist for five years. Uh, I'm very comfortable juggling numbers. I speak fluent Finnish. I know... Finnish? Yes, Finnish. I'm also great It's actually quite interesting. Why Finnish? What's behind you? Uh... uh Oh my God. Oh, it's a naked man. Oh, sorry. That gave me such a fright. My favorite comedy moments probably come in the dance sequence that we filmed um, in Miami. For me, it's just the last moment you expect to, to, a, a good joke. <laughs> it really seems like it's going to be the, the romantic conclusion to this little section of the movie, and instead it, it becomes kind of more and more ridiculous. And to me, that is a testament to Isla's um, talent as a, as a comedian, actually a physical, physical comedian. Sophie Kinsella was on the set every day and uh, we were very lucky to have her. The books are what, what drew me to uh, the film and Sophie's written five books uh, involving the character of Rebecca Bloomwood and I wanted to capture that author's voice. So, uh, you know, it was great to have Sophie there because Isla and I did a lot of improv and uh, we would often uh, work on the improv with Sophie, who always had the right line for Rebecca Bloomwood. So, you know, it was, it was a really great experience. What's wrong with me? <laughs> 